Hi, and welcome to this uh, lecture on the conceptual architecture. Uh, probably the more important and possibly the, um, the most difficult to convey. So, in this, I'll have a look at what, what a conceptual architecture is, and I'll try uh, again to, to point out um, what an architecture is, as well as just the conceptual architecture. And um, then we'll have a look at um, how you can go from a collection of uh, classes that you presume you've already designed <coughs> excuse me, into the uh, first step, structuring of the system, before then starting to apply um, various evaluations to the, the architecture itself to determine whether you've got everything there and if it's arranged uh, according to how it should be. We, I will start from the assumption that you already know the, um, or you, yes, that you, you know how to design an object-oriented system. All right, you've done your object-oriented programming design, so I don't need to explain to you all about a class. I don't need to explain UML to you. We'll take that for a start. Now, if that's not true, please take the time out to go and um, get that knowledge, and I've put up a, a link there to where you can. It's uh, in UTS has access to all of lynda.com's uh, training courses, and I found one there, which is the Fundamentals of Programming, Object Oriented Design. I've been through it myself. Uh, it's, it does a pretty good job of uh, teaching you the fundamentals of object-oriented design, so if, you, if you're not familiar with those principles, please go look them up there. 